Hi, I'm Maimai, and welcome back to one of my product review videos. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Hercules folding chair. Uh, at first, I thought it was a generic brand because there was not really any logos on it, but it is the Hercules brand. I will link it in the description down below if you're interested in buying it, but we are not sponsored by this company. We are doing this because we bought these chairs. So in case you're worried about this, in case you're worrying about a sponsorship, this is our opinion on it. And let's get right to the review. First, let me take out a new one and show you how to open it up. These are very lightweight chairs. The dimensions of the chair is about 38 inches when it's, fold, uh, when it's folded up. And when you fold it back, it's about 32 inches tall. The base is about 18 inches by 18 inches. And actually folding it up is really easy. Some people say, don't pull it up from the seat, you have to kick the back. Oh wait, okay, so uh, that didn't work the first time I did it. But as you can see, that's how you fold it up. Just one more time, you push the seat back to unfold it. And to fold it up, you kick the back of the legs. That's what it looks like uh, when it's folded up. So here's a view of it from the front. Or, I mean, from the back. And here's a view of it from the front. Alright, so let's talk about the chair itself. So there are a few features about this chair that I need to talk about. First, the most important one is the weight limit. The There have been mixed reviews on what the weight limit of the chair is. It was first advertised as 800 pounds, the weight limit, but obviously from these chairs, it definitely doesn't look like it can support 800 pounds. So I think they updated the Amazon listing and now it says it's 650 pounds max. Still doesn't look like it can support that much. According to Amazon reviews, most people say it can hold a max of 400 pounds. Well, actually, I have my friend Amalia here, my childhood friend. Hi! And since, since she's here right now, and uh, Uncle Oscar doesn't want to own the chair, uh, I, I thought maybe you, uh, you want to give your first impressions of this chair? Because okay. before we had these chairs, and they were a bit lower. It's comfortable. I feel high raising. Yeah. Ellen yeah. Brian likes it. Hey, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is the comparison between the chairs that we had. This one is the old one. As you can see, it's about an inch or two lower than the other one. It's also approved by a cat, this one. Oh, I was talking about weight earlier. So some Amazon listings say that it's at max 400 pounds. E even some uh, other uh, comments go as far to say that the max weight limit is 250 pounds. So, as always, there was a, a, a wide range of experiences with the chair. So, always be careful with getting the chair size that you want, or the, char the chair weight limit that you want. We got this chair in a pack of 10. They have it on Amazon for multiple uh, amounts. I think there's 1, 2, 8, and 10. It costed $150 or 159 So, that means it's about $15 or $16 for each chair. The reason that we're buying these chairs is because in the future, we're probably going to have a lot of major events. Already in the past, we had my brother Emil's wedding. I have a video on that if you're interested in checking it out. But you can see behind me that we had a backyard, a backyard that we used for the reception. Behind me, you can see the arbor that my dad built where the, we took pictures under. And three days before the wedding uh, reception, uh, Uncle Oscar came up to my dad. He asked me, how big is your backyard? And my dad told him how big it was. He, he didn't know why. And then, lo and behold, uh, some wedding organizers, some, some wedding organizers, or not wedding, event organizers came to the backyard and they set up a giant tent. And they also added and installed a few chairs. So, uh, so Uncle Oscar did this really like huge favor for us because we wanted to commemorate uh, um, Amiro's wedding. So, thanks to him. And that's why we're we're actually doing this. Oh, I forgot to mention, Uncle Oscar is the person that you saw in the background of the video. I mentioned him before. You might have thought it was weird that I mentioned that he didn't want to sit in the chair, but I wanted to bring him into the video. Um, he's the he was the person in the back of the video, and he we really appreciate him like just donating his his time and his money to helping uh, making a mural's wedding a mural's wedding pretty pretty cool. But that's the reason that we're buying these chairs, and we're, we're gonna be buying them like like um at a slow pace because we don't want to buy a hundred chairs at once that's 10 chairs for 150 dollars that means that if we want to get a hundred chairs it would be fifteen hundred dollars 
And plus, if we just get, if we slowly accrue chairs, if we get like 50 chairs right now, that means if we want to hold a 100 person event, we just need to rent 50 more. Which, um, I think one chair is 150 per, per chair if you want to rent it, but you also got to factor in uh, the actually getting the chairs which is an opportunity cost, or getting the chairs delivered, which it by itself is another cost. So that's why we're slowly buying the chairs. Anyway, back to the review. There's a few features of the chair that are different from the other ones. First off is, well, unfortunately, uh, Burton seems to enjoy his spot on the chair. But as you can see on this, there are drainage holes in the back. This is a more common feature on more recent chairs, but I know some chairs like ours, they don't have drainage holes and that's bad because sometimes we leave these chairs out and uh, puddles of water can get get on them and for metal chairs that's not really good because it can end up rusting them but for regular plastic chairs I mean it's just wet and it also also might be a bit uh, a damaging to the plastic so the drainage holes is, a, is one feature the next feature is the foot rest now you can see because this is a lower chair when I sit on it this does not make a great fart rest so oh but when I found this chair you can see that this works perfectly fine as a foot rest this might work uh, more well for people who with shorter legs uh, like my mom and my mom actually she says she really enjoys this chair a lot <laughs> oh my god so Gotta be careful around Burton. And uh, and like I was saying, my mom really enjoys this chair because not only is it sturdy, but it's like, according to comments and according to her experience, it was very ergonomic for her. I should mention that some people on, on Amazon reviews said that um, if they were more, uh, more heavy set, that the chair would actually pinch them because it's more designed for people of uh, lower size. So like the back would pinch them, like the back side would pinch them, and it really felt uncomfortable to sit on. So you might want to factor that into account if you're thinking of getting larger chairs. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much all that we have on this chair. This chair is going to be really useful for future events because I know a lot of our uncles are going to be needing it. And I mean, my mom enjoys it pretty much. She's pretty much the furniture buyer of the house and it looks like she's in love with this. I think, so we, uh, in our last video, we did a review on the Costco black tables, these folding tables, and they're, pretty cool. When my mom first saw these tables, she impulse bought them because they were so cheap. So I'm gonna guess, actually I know that my mom impulse bought these chairs when she saw them. So or maybe maybe she didn't impulse buy them because like I said we're, we're buying them slowly but she definitely like was leaning into buying it. So we got these chairs because they're gonna be very useful for the future. All right so with that being said it's getting dark so I'm Ayman and thanks for watching. Today I showed you this review of the Hercules uh, folding chairs. We got this in a pack of 10, but like I said, there are other sizes. And we will link the chair in the description down below, uh, or in the comments down below, because I think that's usually what we do. And uh, for now, please like, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I and Island, especially our reviews on uh, products like the table, or the tool reviews maybe, if you're interested. Or, since we're standing right next to it, Check out my videos on turning our patio into a three-season sunroom. And I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, and this is Burton, and signing out. Peace. Okay, I guess he likes the chair more than me.